With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, what is the simple pendulum? Find the expression for the time period and frequency of simple pendulum. So if I draw a pendulum like this, so if you see, initially it was like this and now what happened here, it is slightly displaced by an angle theta. So if you see the length of the string is L and this mass is M and this is also M. So if I rotated this string by an angle theta about this fixed point, then if you see here the weight was acting in downward direction and here again it is acting in downward direction. So if you see here the torque at this position after the rotating, if you see the theta is so small, right? theta is so small so we can assume it at, as the circular motion. So if you see this displacement is L theta. This is L theta, right? So I will write down the torque is equals to mg L theta, all right? And if you see here, this is fixed about this uh, point and it is rotating. This M mass is rotating about this point. So I will write down the moment of inertia about that point. It is this. So we can write down the torque is equals to I alpha as well, all right? So if you see here, we got this expression. Now we will uh, put the value of I here. So if you see here, we, we will write down by I. So if you see here, it, it, it will be this, right? So if you see this L and L, this G and G will get cancelled out and uh, you will get this alpha is equals to G by L theta. Alright, and, and you can see here the alpha will be in opposite direction of the uh, to that of the theta. So we will put the minus sign here as well, right. So if you compare this with the general equation of SHN, for example this. So if you see, we got this omega is equals to under root of this. Now, as you got this omega is equals to this, we know that the time period and frequency, if you see, we want the time period and the frequency. So frequency will be simply, we know that it is uh, omega by 2 pi. So it is 1 upon 2 pi under root g by l. And uh, the t is equals to 2 pi by omega that is inverse of this, it will be under root of L by G. Simple. So these will be the frequency and time period and answer of this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.